Where's that treasure? Arg, what's up everybody? It's a Pirate Stacker coming at you. It is Sunday. You know that I opened this bottle on Friday, right? And you know that I only drink this rum when I'm with you guys. Ridiculous. Pirates get in a habit. Hey, it's good to see you guys. Let's throw out some cheerses here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you to my super chat guys yesterday, Robert Worley. Oh, I think there's somebody else. There's so many of you guys. Thank you very much. Cheers to you all. Mm. Down the hatch. Woo. Today, today is Sunday, and today is prepping with pirate. That's going to be my new Sunday focus. I'm trying to expand a little bit. I'm trying to give you guys more. And I'm not just a one-trick pirate. I got lots of tricks. And uh, prepping is kind of what got me into the silver stacking. Um, you know, silver stacking for value in and of itself, that was never really a thing to me. Um, but prepping definitely was. And what does prepping mean? It's great having silver. These happen to be clad. Don't call me out on it. They just were handy. But it's great having silver handy for an emergency but what would you realistically be using that silver for in an emergency well you'd probably be using it for products like this and truth be told prepping it's not a crazy thing like I know there's a doomsday preppers there's this and that prepping just means being prepared uh, that really is all it boils down to and what we normally talk about when we're prepping is this food food is your number one uh, truth be told in an emergency setting everybody's not rushing for toilet paper which happened last year they're rushing for food you don't want to be without it and this is what I normally talk about now there's lots of different foods there's survival foods that are packaged up and waterproof you know I pack I, I tend to in my pantry keep a lot of canned meats on hand it's protein, it's filling, it's substantial. And again, when we're talking food, get the stuff you eat. Every, every one of these cans, I enjoy eating. So don't stock stuff that you're just never gonna touch. Now there is a place for that. Once you're involved, once you've got things prepped, then I'm all about getting that stuff that's you know good for 10 years, good for 20 years. If you've got the space, that's awesome. Uh, we also, when we talk about prepping, this is a big deal. Whatever side you fall on, whether you keep a firearm or not, ammo is a great bartering tool, and it's also great for self-defense if, uh, if you've got something to use with it. But today, today my focus is prepping the other stuff. And when I talk about other stuff, I'm talking medicine one, Toiletries and hygiene too. Both of those I think get overlooked a lot. Now when we go shopping, we shop at Sam's Club, we shop at Walmart, we shop at all kinds of places. If we got a few extra bucks, boom, 10 bucks, 12 bucks. This is medicine. If you're in a real bad tight situation, guess what? If there isn't a doctor, if you can't go get morphine, codeine, whatever, this is the next best thing. And this is, again, this is stuff that we will use over time anyway. The big picture here is get things you use. And, uh, and if you can afford to get an extra bottle, DayQuil, NyQuil. I mean, I know all you guys use this stuff. We've all been there. So if you can throw in an extra bottle, and look, it's expensive. I get it. Like this ends up being, this is the generic. It's like six bucks. NyQuil's like eight or nine. So I'm not saying go load up, go stockpile, but what I am saying is if you can throw in just an item, do it. Do it, because it's going to get used. I have Little Pirate Stacker. Guess what? She gets sick too. Having this on hand, and you never know when they tear through that other bottle, you're frantically like, do we have more? Last thing you want to do is have to run to Walgreens or somewhere in the middle of the night. And even stuff you don't typically use, 
It's a great bartering tool. It's great because you never know when you could use it. If it's cheap, if it's on sale, grab a pack. Really doesn't hurt anything at all. And it's a few bucks. Now, for me personally, I categorize medicines above hygiene. So, hygiene's very important. To me, the comforts of having, you know, some Hall's Defense, some cough drops, things like that, that's comfort, and that's nice. Now, as far as the hygiene goes, it's the same scenario. You know, it's always nice to have a few things extra. You know, shaving cream, soap, certainly, soap, shampoo. I mean, I feel like most people should try and have a backup of those things anyway, just because that helps you down the road. But have an extra toothpaste. Like, this isn't hard stuff. And if you are trying to prep a little bit, you know, these are things you can find for buck fifty. I mean, really inexpensive ways to get a little bit of something stacked. And it can even be as small as a comfort like chapstick. Spend 89 cents when you're at the checkout line. Get you a drawer, throw your chapsticks in, and guess what? You'll go through them. It happens. It just does. And then, of course, if you've got the space, you know, when these come up, Mrs. Pirate Stacker's always like, oh, if, you, if they have the disinfecting wipes, grab them. You know, we always have a few jugs of these. At school, Little Pirate Stacker, her teacher is like, hey, can you guys donate anything? Boom, we send this. You know, we want them to be clean and safe too. But in a stacking scenario, in a prepping scenario, this stuff's important. And not only is it important, it's valuable. So remember that, like it's not all about silver and gold. I know that that's the stuff we love and we talk about. We like getting our stack right. But the reality is in a hard luck scenario, guess what? You're gonna be spending your silver and gold on this stuff. This stuff becomes more valuable. So make sure you're well-rounded. I'm not saying be this, be that, be all of it. I'm not saying any of that. But for me, prepping is all about diversity and getting supplies, the stuff that's truly important, the stuff that enables you to stay home, lock your doors, be self-sufficient, not have to go out, that's gonna be your safest scenario. So that's what I'm, I'm sharing with you today. I hope this makes sense to you. It doesn't take much. Me and Mrs. Pirate, we don't have a ton, but we always add to it. You know, my silver stack's not huge. My, my medicine stack's not huge, but I have one. And that's what's important is if you get some of this stuff in your preps, if you get prepared for something bad that could happen, even if it never comes, there will come that night when your kid is sick and you've got the extra medicine. Or you're sick and you've got the extra medicine. Or you didn't want to go shopping because the stores are closed anyway. You don't got to. And uh, it's just one of those things that being prepared doesn't hurt you. And I know everybody likes to hold on to the cash. Mrs. Pirate loves seeing numbers on her bank account. She loves that stuff. I could care less. To me, I love seeing a stash. I love opening up a full cupboard and seeing nothing but supplies. Because I know that at some point that stuff is going to get used, it's going to be handy, and we already have it on hand. And at an even worst case scenario, that stuff's going to be a valuable, valuable asset. So that's my two cents. This is Prepping with Pirate on Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I hope it makes sense for you. Now, for a lot of you guys, I know you're big preppers. Uh, this means nothing to you, and, and I appreciate you for watching. But for some of you younger people, you know, I got kids that are 19, 24. They, honest to God, don't even think about this stuff. So I'm trying to share it with you guys. A little becomes a lot. It doesn't take much. A dollar here, two dollars there. And the dollar store is a great place to start. You can get a good haul. In fact, maybe we'll do a dollar store series next Sunday where I can go pick up some stuff that's a great start. But uh, again, stay safe out there. Keep stacking, you guys. Thank you for watching. We will see you all tomorrow. Have a great Sunday. Pirate out. <laughs>